Pregame.com. Seahawks at Rams. Unfortunately, this won't be the uh, NBC primetime game. That one's for uh, Eagles Giants. So uh, some of you around the country may not be able to see this game, but it will be worth making a bet. This one's my pick. Lined open St. Louis 2.5, 37. It's now 2 and 39. Looking at the side, I'll tell you this. St. Louis came into the season overvalued. If you remember week one, they were only a five-point dog to the Eagles. We all know now the Eagles were overvalued as well. But that's why I think they're 2-7 and seven ATS as well as 2-7 and seven straight up. Seattle on the other side, nobody won anything to do with them. They, Hasselbeck's gone. They, have a, they don't have a quarterback. They don't have anything. Um, they're 3-6, and six, but they're 5-3-1 and three and one against the spread. Pretty much 6-3. Six and three against the spread um, because they came in undervalued. My play in this one's on the total. I like the over. And I know it's scary when you look at St. Louis, Seattle, and they're not the offensive type of teams where they're expected to put up, you know, 50 points. But what I've seen that stuck out to me the most, especially on the St. Louis side, is a steady progression offensively. This is a team that averages 12.6 points per game, but they average 15.2 at home. And over the last three weeks, they've averaged 19 points. That's a casual progression to me. You know, I think the next step is crossing that 20-point threshold. Um, Seattle on the flip side, uh, uh, this team's a lot better than most people think. I I'll tell you the truth. I have a... I don't have them as the the last two, three teams, you know. I have them probably in the, the bottom ten. But I think they're a lot better than most people give them credit for being. Um, when you look at the, the total margin this year, you have Seattle at minus 20.5. You have St. Louis at minus 54. These are two big under teams. And I always say this isn't the most efficient market. But sports betting market is pretty damn efficient. And we know that an efficient market is efficient because it eventually corrects itself. For this to correct itself, these two teams need to cash some overs. When this line came out at 37, I think it was a little too low. And right away, sharp money came in on the over. And now it's up to 39. I still think there's some value on the over. Tell me what you think, why I'm wrong. I know you like the side, but you got an opinion on the total. Okay. Speaking about the total, I, I write um, a weekly article for ESPN.com. Am I allowed to use a competing website? Absolutely. And I sent them in the under in this game. And this reminds me of a lot of our pizza bet from last week. <laughs> and, and I'm not going to get into that because I'm trying to lose weight. And, you know, I, you'd be feeding me the rest of my life if I continue to, to bet you these. But uh, <laughs> we got to bet. I, actually, I, I took a lunch from Marco earlier this year. So I, I'm, I'm making a lot of uh, money. Problem is I keep getting weight. But it's a situation when historically I believe the – and I didn't bring these stats because I really didn't think that you'd be crazy enough to play the over here. But um, <laughs> history, history in this in this park has been in low scoring games or very low scoring games. Um, Seattle home road dichotomy has just been amazing: thirty two and eighteen against the spread at home, and uh, fifteen and thirty against the spread on the road. But uh, I do, you know, I talked about this in the past. I do a lot of work with First House, and despite getting the ball six and nine games this year, Seattle. Uh, they've been outscored in the first half 12.7 to 6.1. They're averaging 6.1 points in the first half of these games. First half is very telling because that tells you how the second half sets up. Um, if you don't fall too far behind, they can stay in their game plan. Uh, you, you may want Seattle to get out of their game plan and start throwing the football because uh, that's really not their game plan. Their game is running right, and play right. field position. Um, in five road games this year, they've only, got the, they've only scored first once. Uh, in those games, they're being outscored 56 to 20. So they're averaging four points in the first half of these football games. So you've got a traditionally low-scoring series in this city. 
you've got a Seattle team that does not score a lot of points, regardless home or road, but even more impressive on the road. And a key thing, what you said, you said that St. Louis's offense is progressing. They're up to 19 points. You want to get to that 20-point mark. Let's say they get to that 20-point mark. Uh, they're a two-point favorite in this game. That means St. Louis scores 20, St. Uh, Seattle scores 18. That's 38. That stays below the 39. That's saying St. Louis wins this game. I don't think they win this game. Really? Uh, I made the line pick them, and that's given St. Louis two points for being home. Like I said, I have Seattle as the better team in this, in this game. I, not because they have one more win. I just think they are the better team. When you look at defense here, you got two defenses that give up a lot of points. Seattle gives up 24.8 points overall, 26.5 on the road. I mean, um, St. Louis gives up 24.8, 26.5 at home. St. Louis does. Seattle gives up 22 overall, 22 on the road. Really hasn't made a difference for them. When you have defenses that give up points, it makes it a lot easier for offenses that usually, you know, you don't get many, many points from. It's different if these were good defenses. Then I'd say, you know what? You have bad offenses, but good defenses. It's going to be tough to get points. But you have terrible defenses in this game. I don't think it's going to be all that difficult for these teams to score indoors. And more importantly, these are two of the... the teams that have the worst penalty rate in the NFL. You have Seattle averaging nine penalties and St. Louis at home averaging nine as well. It's a lot of free yards you're getting off penalties with the clock stopping because of the whistle blowing. Couple that with the turnovers. You got St. Louis six turnovers in the last four games. Seattle only one time, and that was last week against Baltimore in that upset, have they had less than two, no, two turnovers in the last six games. So you add turnovers, penalties, and weak defenses, I don't think it's going to take too much offensive you know, genius to put up 20 points each. Well, when you're talking about penalties, it depends on if they're offensive or defensive penalties. True, true. So you know, they may have nine, uh, nine penalties and they're all on the offense. Um, so I think you have to break it down a little bit more than that. Um, I happen to think, I, I, I don't think the Seattle defense is bad at all. I think the Seattle defense is the best unit on the field. They're, the Seattle defense is better than the Rams Well, they're defense. better than the Rams defense, and, for sure. And the Seattle offense for isn't sure. very good, and the Rams offense isn't very good. But, to, to your point, the Ram offense is getting healthier. The quarterback is back. The right, running back right. is back, and, and that's huge to have Jackson back there. But their defense is also getting healthier. And when you compare averages, that's against average offenses. Offenses, right, And right. these offenses are far from average. So you make a lot of great points. I would like to have this, the, the 41 or 40. But I still think at 39. Is Who do you still, like on the side? I like uh, the I like the Rams. I think the Rams are getting healthier. Yeah, they it's definitely one, are. We talk, in the last video, we talked about that. Uh, is looking at your power range for the whole season compared to your power range the last three games. Last three games, the Rams offense has played a lot better than it has because they're getting healthy. No, and, and based on ATS margin, Rams are minus 46. So that you know follows that they should start covering some games. Mm -hmm. You know, so I agree. I'm, I'm not, I, I, I think Seattle's a better team, but I'm not willing to bet them in this spot. I'll, you know, not on the road. Seattle's not a team I want any parts of on the well, road. Well, yeah, I mean, we talked about that, the uh, 15 and 30 ATS on the road. Yeah. So um, every team has their spots, and we spoke about this in the, in, the, in the video with DeMarco earlier, but every team's got a certain thing that they do well. You're either a great home favorite, uh, go back to week one or whatever. We talk about Oregon at home against a really outmanned right, opponent. Right. They run up the score. Yeah. Um, every, every team has got that certain spot. You've got to be able to find them in that certain spot. And it really helps if the other team is bad in that spot. There's certain teams that don't travel sure. well. And Seattle is one of those teams. Now, St. Louis isn't a team that is strong at home. Uh, they grind out these games. Yeah, I give them two points yeah, for home yeah, field. Yeah, they don't have a great home field. And, I, you know, I bet for a living, so I don't get out to see many games. I don't have trips to New Orleans in the middle of football season or anything. <laughs> but it's a situation. The last time I went out, I went to a Rams game. And being from Cleveland and knowing the atmosphere in Cleveland Brown Stadium and going there, I, it was I, had, like church. I had to come back. And I said, it's like I went to a baseball game. Nobody's throwing stuff. Nobody's yeah, getting yeah. drunk. I mean, it's a family Too atmosphere. Too civilized. It's a family atmosphere there. So it's a totally it's different. It's like a Harry Potter movie. 
Well, if I've ever seen a Harry Potter movie, I, you're a little bit younger than <laughs> I am. I watch pornos. So like I taking your kid. <laughs> so, but the, the, the thing I want to ask you, last week Seattle went up against Baltimore and won that game, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a letdown spot for them. But also, don't you think they got beat up a little physically when you play a team like Baltimore? You know, because of that, I just think we're going to get less from their defense. Like, I'm not looking at it as the offense got beat up. I'm looking at it like the defenses who got more beat up. Yeah, that's by a good that point. By that physical, you know, offensive line of Baltimore. You know, they're just a physical team. They run the ball physically. They throw the ball. I mean, everything they do is physical. So I, I just feel that these two defenses are just, this is a good spot for them to give up some points. And I'm willing, willing to put a pizza on the line. And we're, we're going to walk away with, with you taking your, your normal two. Or, is, you let me know. What, what are you playing, the, the total? 40. You're, you're playing the total? You're yeah. Gonna, you're going to give me... 40. You 40. don't win on forty. We push, we push on forty. We push on 40. Yeah, I'm a nice I, I, this is my bet. I gotta be confident in it. My I'm not gonna look for thirty-eight. My wife's gonna be happy with all these pizzas I bring home. I don't know if my waist size is gonna All right, all right, we'll do it. This is a single item this time because I know I took that double because I took the parlay. Like yeah, that. yeah, no, this is a one topping one only. To one, one topping, topping pizza. one all right, topping, all right, one well, topping. Not out of hand. I don't love the side here. All right, Dustin. Looks like I'm gonna be having a pizza party next week at my house. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> there you have it. I like the over. You're going to keep seeing points. I mean, we'll be here next week, and they'll still be scoring. He likes the under. You'll look at whose cheeks are bigger next week to know who won this bet. And uh, don't forget, go to pregamevideos.com. Every video will be up, plus our notes for the week. It's going to do it for now. You guys have a great weekend. Do some damage. I had a bad week in NFL last week, a terrible week. I had come in winning three straight weeks in the NFL. Last week was Terrific one and six from Thursday to Monday. Don't get worse than that. So I'm looking to bounce back this weekend. Ready for NFL and college football. It's going to do it. Do some damage.